What's going on, Swim fans? Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, I am so excited to share with you how to write a swim workout for beginners. You may recall, if you're familiar with the channel, a Whiteboard Wednesday session I did, how to write a swim workout, and that was a little bit more advanced. And in this video, I wanna break it down to the basic elements. So if you're looking to get into the sport of swimming, or maybe you've already started, but you're looking to add a little bit more structure and build the progression, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna walk through how to set those SMART goals, exactly how a workout should be structured, including the warm up, main set, and cool down. I'm also gonna share a few different example workouts that you can follow. And we'll go into detail about what you should actually be thinking about at each part of the workout. And by the end of the video, I'll share with you guys a few different training programs available in the MySwim Pro app that cater to specific goals designed specifically for beginners. If you're new to the channel, welcome to My Swim Pro, where we share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health, both in and out of the water. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and let me know in the comments what your swimming goals are. Now, when we start out with writing a swim workout, it's really important to understand what your goals are. There's a number of different goals that I overview in that other Whiteboard Wednesday, but I wanna overview them really, really quickly here. You need to understand, is your goal to get wet? Like, are you trying to just get into the swimming pool? Are you looking to improve your technique, enhance your speed, improve your endurance? Develop a stroke, maybe you already know how to swim freestyle and you're pretty comfortable, but now you're looking to add some backstroke. So understanding what your goal is for the workout is the first step because you can't really work on all of these at the same time, especially when you're a beginner swimmer. So once you've identified a specific goal, let's say we're gonna work on our technique, our freestyle technique, now we can move on to assessing the workout structure. So similar to any type of physical activity, it's gonna have three core parts. At the beginner level, you have a warm up a main set and a cool down. Now this type of workout structure is actually pretty common anytime you're gonna elevate your heart rate or you're gonna get some kind of muscle engagement. So whether you're training out of the water or in the water, same concept applies. Typically in this format, the warm up will be anywhere from 10 to 20%. And the goal is to activate your body, both mentally and physically. You wanna increase your heart rate. You wanna do things that are very dynamic. So if you're out of the water, this would be something like dynamic stretches. When you're in the water, you're really focusing on your technique. You're not sprinting, you're not spiking your heart rate up. You're gonna gradually build up your momentum and build up your heart rate. That's about 10 to 20%. Then the main set at the beginner level could be anywhere from 60 to 80%. This is really where you're spending most of the time in the water. So if you have a 15 minute workout, you know maybe 10 minutes of it is really the main set. And then you're gonna finish with a cool down. We're working on lowering your heart rate. So you're gonna have your peak heart rate and peak physical exertion in the main set. And then you don't wanna just completely stop and let your lactic acid just sit there in your muscles. You wanna flush it out with a cool down. And that can be anywhere from 10 to 20% as well. So in the beginner stages, you know, your main set is the main set as the name implies. And then as you move to the advanced level of how you actually build a workout, and this is what you start with before you write anything down, you think about what is the warm up gonna be? That's part one. Then you're gonna introduce a preset, and the point of the preset is to really focus in on whatever skill you're trying to develop. So if you're focusing on speed, you might actually do a speed set in your preset before you hit the main set. Now the main set is still the main set is 40 to 70% of the workout duration and maybe distance. And then you're gonna have a post set, which maybe you're gonna polish up something that you worked on in the main set. So again, if we're talking about improving and enhancing your speed, if you're doing a more advanced workout, the preset, you're gonna do some maybe shorter bursts, you're gonna work on technique to really get the heart rate spiking. And then you're gonna hit it with the main set, you're really gonna focus on speed, you're gonna develop that lactic acid. And then in the post set, that's only you know five to 20%. Then you might hit the speed again in a very, very specialized way before you do your cool down. Now I mentioned this is more for beginners, so let's not worry about all these different uh, insertions of sets. Really focus on these three main set groups, the warm up, the main set, and the cool down. Now let's walk over to the, this side of the whiteboard where I have actually two workouts written. One is 500 meters and one is 1000 meters long. And actually before I go into that, I wanna, I wanna note two important things. Number one, it's important to focus. You really should only have one skill that you're developing at a time. So if we go back to what are the goals, or if you're just trying to get in the water, then that's your goal. So it's really, you know, is the goal 500 meters, 200 meters, 1000 meters, just get in the pool and get it done. Check the box off. If you're focusing on technique, that's great. It should be really emphasized through the duration of the workout from the warm up, the main set and the cool down. If you're focusing on endurance, same thing. So it's really important to focus on one of those. Now, of course, technique is important 
on every single workout. But for the scope of this, really focus on one of those skills rather than trying to have each set focus on something different. And then you also wanna think about the density of the workout. Now this is really important for beginners. I'm gonna break this down. Density of the workout really just means how much distance are you doing per unit of time? So here's an example. Let's say you have a 1000 meter workout and it takes one swimmer 30 minutes to complete. Now that's great. If that same swimmer, and if they're fast enough, can do that 1000 meter workout in only 20 minutes, it's gonna be a lot different. It's gonna be a very different workout. And really this is where the goal plays into effect. So you can actually take this concept and apply it to a set group. So for example, let's say you're a beginner swimmer, you've got your warm up and you don't give yourself enough rest. So you fall into this category, that thousand meters in 20 minutes. So as a result, it will negatively impact your main set and your cool down. So it's really important to think about just focusing on one thing at a time and really to give yourself adequate rest and think about the density of the workout that you wanna hold and you wanna be consistent all the way through. If you're focused on endurance, that density should, if anything, negative split, meaning it becomes more difficult as you go through the workout. If you're focusing on speed, your density is gonna be a lot lower. You're gonna get a lot more rest. So as a beginner swimmer, basically just make sure you're not going too fast in the warm up, and you're not burning out all of your energy so that way when you get to the main set, which is really the main thing, you're not completely gassed out. Let's look at this 500 meter workout. And I wanna re also remind everyone that these are no equipment involved. So you don't need any equipment. All you need is a swimsuit. Goggles are a good idea. Swim cap is a good idea but you don't need any kind of fins or paddles. You can incorporate them if you'd like, but let's focus on this 500 meter workout, no equipment. We've got a warm up, main set, and cool down, three parts. The warm up is a total of 100 meters. So this is about 10, I'm sorry, 20% of the 500 meter workout. And in this 20%, you're not gonna swim 100 meters continuously. No, no, no. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna go 425s for yourself. If you're in a 25 meter distance pool, you're basically gonna take a break with about 10 to 20 seconds rest. Remember density, 10 to 20 seconds rest between every 25 meters. Then we're gonna go into the main set. And the main set is gonna be 300 meters total. We're not swimming 300 meters continuously. No, no, no. We're gonna break it out so that we can focus on technique, specifically our breathing. So we're gonna do six 50s. So 50 meters, take a 10 to 20 second break. And then another one, 10 to 20 second break. We're gonna do that six rounds. And free is short for freestyle, the front crawl. You can really do any stroke, but for this, we're gonna focus on freestyle. And we're focusing on our breathing. So as we take that breath, we wanna be controlled. We wanna rotate onto our side, try and keep one eye in the water, and try not to rush it. It's really easy to kind of get excited, and then you move your arms too fast, and all of a sudden breathing is way more difficult. So really focus on breathing in this main set. We're focusing on technique. Then the cool down is again, the final 20%, not 10%. And that is 100 meters. We're gonna break it out just like we did the warm up, 425s freestyle, and we're gonna focus on silent swimming. Silent swimming means we use all of our senses. So we're gonna listen to the sound our fingertips make as they enter the water. We're gonna, before we push off, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna smell the environment. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to stimulate your mind and really actively engage your body. So that way you reduce the amount of splash that you make. And if you reduce the amount of splash that you make, you're gonna be way more efficient with a cleaner stroke and you're gonna use less energy, you're gonna swim faster, you're gonna get a better workout. I skipped over what MDPS means. So MDPS is an acronym that's short for max distance per stroke. So when we do these 425s freestyle, what we're focusing on in the warm up in this first 20%, these 100 meters, we're actually gonna focus on maximizing distance per stroke. Meaning, when you slide your fingertips in the water, you're gonna reach and extend a few more centimeters, extend another half meter before initiating your pull, really maximizing your stroke, getting as efficient as possible. So that's the first 20%. And then the final 20% is silent swimming, sort of a combination of that max distance per stroke. So this is how we structure a beginner workout that's 500 meters. If it's a little bit more difficult for you to do that kind of a distance, you can break this up. You can instead go 225s instead of four. You can go 425s or 450s, or you can go 425s. You can easily scale up and scale down this 500 meters to meet your current skill level and just really make sure you focus on one thing. If you notice, we're not trying to swim fast. We're not trying to swim for endurance. We're really focusing on technique for both of these workouts. Now, if you think that's a little bit too easy and you're trying to get to the next level, maybe you've mastered that. This workout I have over here is 1000 meters. So it's double and you can actually see how it's a very similar workout in structure and what we're focusing on. It's just a little bit longer. So 
We're, again, we're doing 20%. The warm up is now 200 meters instead of 100 meters. And instead of 425s, we're going to go 450s. So we 50 meters, 10 to 20 second break, 50 meters, 10 to 20 second break. Again, the density is important. If you need more rest to maintain that max distance per stroke, take more rest. It's not a big deal. The, the key is to be consistent. So that way you don't only take five seconds on the first 50 and then you're gassed out and then you need a minute rest on the next one and then a minute 30 rest on the one after that. You wanna be as consistent as possible. So you should feel actually pretty easy on the first couple of repetitions. After the warm up, if you notice here, I slid in a preset from our more advanced. So it's not the full advance of five different set groups, but I introduced the preset just because I wanna add a little bit more variety in this workout. So the preset is 425's kick. And so kicking means in streamline or with a kickboard. If you want fins, go ahead, throw them in here. So we're gonna go 100 meters. 10% of this preset is to activate your legs. So that's why we kick. We really focus on one thing here, which is the technique of the kick. And we're gonna focus on short, fast kicks. So if you think about your legs as your arms, your legs are gonna be straight, barely bending your knees, pointing your toes, and you want a short, fast kick. You wanna reduce the amplitude of what your total kick is. That's our preset. Then we're gonna move into the main set. Now this main set is 50% of the workout. It's 500 meters long in total. We're not going a 500 meters straight. And we're gonna go 550s freestyle, maximum distance per stroke. So over here actually we did 650s, focusing on the breathing. Here we're gonna focus again on the max distance per stroke. And then we're gonna go another 550s freestyle. So two sets within this main set set group. And we're gonna go max distance per stroke, minus one. So we're really gonna focus on improving our efficiency by taking less strokes on these 50s than we did on these 50s. This is really, really difficult. So the way this works is you count how many strokes you take on each length of the pool, or if you're in a 50 meter pool, just count how many arm strokes you take. So one, two, three, count them for the whole duration of the 50 meters. And then at the end, your goal is to maintain that for 550. So let's say you take 20 strokes each length in a 25 meter pool. So you take 40 strokes in 50 meters. So your goal on the next set group of 550s is to take one less than that. So instead of 40, we're going for 39. And we're gonna try and hold 39, 39, 39. This becomes difficult as you fatigue and as you get tired. And again, we're focusing on technique in this workout. So really important, you maximize your distance per stroke. And finally, we have the cool down, which is 200 meters, 20% of our thousand meter workout. And this is gonna be 450s, just like we started out. Again, silent swimming. We're really focusing on using all of our senses. We're trying to really focus on that, the noise and reducing that as our fingertips slide into the water. And that is a 1000 meter workout. It could take you 30 minutes, it could take you 40 minutes, it could take you an hour. Don't really worry about the total time. Make sure you plan it out ahead of time. And if you're interested in following individual workouts that are already written for you in this kind of a structure, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app available for iPhone and Android. In fact, if you guys check out the link in the description below, we're gonna include a promo code for our beginner swimmers because we wanna get you guys in the water and get started into not only a workout, but a training program. The fastest way to achieving your goals is actually following a series of workouts in a progression that develop off of each other. So that way, each workout has a specific focus, whether it's focusing on technique or speed or endurance or one element of the technique. And by following a progression, you're gonna improve way, way faster. So I highly recommend some of the training programs that we have in the My Swim Pro app that actually follow some of these goals. So we do have a get wet couch to 1K training program. We have a get fit training program that basically goes from the couch from zero, building up to a thousand meter workout like this, building up to a one mile swim continuously. We have a few different training programs like that. We also have a technique boot camp training plan that has a few workouts per week. All of them focus on technique. Each day you're focusing on something different. One day it's breathing, one day it's your streamline, one day it's your kick technique, all of these things. We have something for improving your speed, your endurance, and then of course, developing your strokes. If you wanna do the individual medley, you wanna do your butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, the full IM, that's Michael Phelps's event, you have a training program specifically for that. So make sure you check out the code linked in the description below so you can get started. And if you're looking for an even simpler way to get started, join our My Swim Pro Facebook group also linked in the description below. We have thousands of swimmers from all over the world 
from different skill levels and abilities, everything from your beginners who are just getting into the sport of swimming to more advanced swimmers who maybe took 10 or 20 years off away from the sport and now you're, they're making their comeback. And we have some triathletes in there as well. So regardless of what your goals are, you're gonna find a place in our My Swim Pro Global community. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video. Again, let me know in the comments what your goals are. We'd love to see how we can help you achieve those goals. If you haven't already liked the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys next time. Happy swimming, bye.